Hey everybody, it's Rich with Kestapa Engineering. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be diving into free design material that anybody can get. All of these design materials um, I use on the regular and they are all free, so that's the really great thing. Our first design material, MyTech. So within this catalog, this has everything that you would need to um, design connections for wood construction. So these are hangers, these are, um, these are caps, these are base plates, you have um, straps, you have, you have bucket connections. So it's, you have attachments to CMU, you have attachments to other wood elements, you have attachments to steel, um, to concrete. I mean, anything you could think of, um, they've thought of it and it's all broken down in this catalog. Um, and again, if you go to the uh, MyTech uh, website, I'll leave a, uh, a link in the description below, you can actually go to their, um, their product information and you can order this catalog and they will mail it to you for free. And this also within here um, gives you capacities of all the different uh, connector elements that they provide in here. So it gives you your design strength. It gives you everything you need also for your calculations. So really handy. And lastly from MyTech is their adhesives catalog. So this is for anything post installed. If you are doing retrofit construction, you know, after concrete has been poured or masonry has been constructed, and then you need to come back later and you need to add some type of maybe um, mechanical system. If you're, if you're MEP out there and you're hanging all of your MEP equipment and you're anchoring it into the structure, all of those type of scenarios require um, if it's not a mechanical anchor, then it's uh, an adhesive anchor, and this catalog breaks all that down for you. Again, design criteria and all, um, all specifications of these products, things you need for design and your calculations. Next on the list, we have DeWalt. So this is a, this is a beefy guy, um, and this is all of their um, anchoring and fastener system. So, and actually what's also combined in this is tools that are used as well, um, but it's broken down big tables in here going over each one of their products. So all of their anchor equipment, everything like that um, is in here with design values, every product available, um, all sizes. So you're talking quarter, say it's anchor bolts, you're talking quarter inch bolts and you're going all the way up to, you know, inch and a half, two inch, um, same with every other product. So if you want to use a DeWalt product, you can use this. Um, and what's really nice about this, so this is a hard copy. Again, you go to their website, link in the description, and they will mail this to you for free. This also mirrors the software that DeWalt has for uh, anchoring systems. So you can run that software and pick a product that way, or by hand when you're an early engineer, um, a young engineer, you're gonna need to do it by hand. So you'll dive into this catalog to get your design criteria. So. Next, Unistrut. This one you can see by pages falling out of it, it's seen some things. The past couple of years I have gotten into Unistrut design. So Unistrut is cold form uh, steel that is basically that, that is manufactured into these special tubular shapes and they come in dozens of different varieties of shapes. And then they have all these different components and connectors and everything for every situation you could possibly think of. Unistrut has it, and this is more for smaller projects. So Unistrut, you're not building, you're not constructing buildings out of Unistrut. It's not like you're using wood or concrete or something. Unistrut is a secondary system. So, you know, trapezes to hang utilities and to hang mechanical units and HVAC and solar panels. That's a big one with Unistrut. So a lot of that type of little stuff, um, you might think, well, I just want to get to the big stuff. I want to design buildings. That's you know, that's what an engineer does. Plenty of engineers do plenty of this work. And this actually, I believe, makes you more well-rounded. When I started doing this stuff, I had no idea what was going on. It's a big learning curve because your design process and your calculations are different. It's not just like out of a code. You have to follow um, the design and calculation procedures that they specify in their book. So all of that's in here. And then you pick products and you use the capacities that they list in here based on all of their testing that they've done to design. This stuff is always custom and always makes you think, so don't overlook it. Again, you go to their website, link below, they'll send you one of these for free. Pick this one up. 
You're gonna need it. And once more, it's totally free. It's free. Next one, we're gonna now dive into the Simpson world. Let's start with, for all you wood designers out here, you're gonna need this book. This is um, Simpson Strong Tie Catalogs. If you go to their website, again, in the description, you can go to their catalogs and you can order all of the catalogs I'm, that I'm about to list and they will send you them for free in the mail. They'll send them to you free. Um, this one I use the most out of everything in the video today. So this is um, exactly what it says, wood connections. So these are connectors for wood construction and everything in here is tabulated. All of your design values are in here for your calculations. Um, everything you would specify in your drawings for connections are in here. They have straps. They go into fire rated um, uh, connections. They go into decks if you're a residential, if you're an engineer working for a residential firm. They have deck construction in here, fastening elements for, um, for hurricane prone regions, for seismic regions. They have retrofit solutions for existing structures in seismic regions. And then they have all your typical, you know, wood joist connections. You have bucket connections. You have um, uh, all the different types of mechanical fasteners for uh, for wood trusses. So everything across the board, they have it connecting to wood, connecting to steel, to masonry, and to concrete. So covers all your bases. It's all in here. One note: this is um, ASD values. So when you're designing, make sure you pay attention and you read the literature in here as to what the design criteria, what those values actually mean. So don't just jump to conclusion and see a number and then just assume you can use it for whatever you want. It's important that you pay attention to what they say. Next, so we're gonna follow the same type of criteria as like the, uh, the MyTech. So now only in the Simpson version. So this is Simpson strong tie again, and this is all your um, adhesives as well as your carbon fiber wrapping solutions. So carbon fiber, I, am about to work on a project that we're going to be um, using carbon fiber wraps and what the, what these are um, is solutions for strengthening existing concrete members that's mostly what it's used for and it's basically like huge industrial band-aids like literally it's like a applied sheet of carbon fiber onto whatever your concrete columns your concrete shear walls yada 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 and you adhere those sheets to the walls to gain capacity back in the concrete wall. So that information is in this book, as well as your adhesives are in this book. So anything post-installed that you're doing adhesive anchors, it's all in here. Simpson products. So if you're gonna, if you're more familiar with Simpson and you wanna use those products, specify them on your drawings. When you do your calculations, dive into this book. Similarly, they also have an anchor design software that obviously takes all the information in here and then dumps it into that program. So you can design using that program, or if you're going to design by hand, you can use this catalog. Next, another big one, Simpson again. Man, they sent me all this stuff. I know you're asking that question. You're like, are they really going to send me all these things? Maybe because he's an engineer or professional engineer, maybe, uh, or he works for a company that that's why they sent him stuff. No, if you request this from their, from their website, they will send you all of these catalogs because, and they're gonna send them for free. So the prop is if they send you these for free, they are hoping that now you are specifying their products in your drawings. And then when the contractor goes to build those drawings, uh, build from those drawings, he is gonna to need to order their parts. They make money. So that's kind of how the system works here. So they're more than happy to send out this literature to more and more design professionals. So what we have here, connectors, but what is it for? It's not for wood. This is for cold form steel construction. So light gauge metal um, steel construction. This is basically a mirror of the wood connectors, except if I can open this book correctly, except it's everything to do with cold form steel. So, so if you have not worked with cold form steel, you are going to need this catalog um, or a catalog similar to it in order to connect all of your cold form products together. So again, it's free. And last but not least, actually it's kind of least. So thanks for hanging in there. Simpson once more. Simpson is absolutely crushing it with their catalogs. This, however, this is just your fastening systems. So 
everything in here, this is less about what we're worried about as uh, structural engineers, at least on a, on a larger scale. If you're doing much smaller projects where you're specifying absolutely everything that's used, then this might be more handy for you. But this is every type of screw, nail, multiple same types of fastener, just in different colors and different finishes. Um, all that different thread cuts, all that type of stuff is in here. So it kind of gets down to the nitty gritty um, in terms of like specifications that we would provide where you have a product on your drawings, but then you have a set of specifications that go in with the design. And those basically it's just literature on exactly what needs to be used when, you know, galvanization, um, weather protected um, fasteners, all that kind of stuff. So um, this really breaks down all of that, you know, lengths, dimensions, threads, everything to do with, with fasteners. And as well associated with them, you have on the uh, contractor side of things, you have the, uh, the equipment that easily lets you uh, install multiple fasteners as quickly as possible. So you have Simpson actual fasteners that uh, that they specify in here, that they suggest you get. You know, if you're, if you got a nail, 10,000 nails, well, maybe they have a tool where instead of nailing one nail per 30 seconds by hand, you can nail 10, 10 nails in 30 seconds with a tool that they have. Um, again, you can see in here kind of, it gives you numbers. It gives you numbers in a, in a clip of nails. You know, I, I might not be using the right lingo, if you will, for the contracting side of it, but this book gets a little bit a little bit more on the contracting side of everything. So um, again, I still like to have it. It's still good to know every once in a while, I flip it open and take a quick look to see, you know, maybe I'll learn something. So that's one more thing. Again, it's a free catalog. So not that you wanna hoard everything. You don't wanna be one of those old school engineers that has a room full of just paper, but these, I, I do use just about all of these um, some more than others, like I've said. So out of all of those, if you could only get a few, here are my top three for you. Cold Form Connections by Simpson, Wood Connections by Simpson, and Unistrut. Those three out of all are my top as a design professional. So uh, let me know in the comments if you have some other free literature out there that you'd like to share with the team. I know that there's more out there. Check out the link below and order them today for yourself. And we made it. That's it, guys. Um, thank you, team, for another episode. Hopefully, I gave you some good insight today. Remember to leave uh, a like if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already because I know there's still more of you out there. Let's spread the news. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.